This is Eugene and Rutkovich on the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus X44L laptop computer. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus X44L laptop computer. Uh, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to disconnect all sources of power and that includes the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over. There's two levers on the bottom. Left one you slide outward to unlock. Right one you slide outward and then you pull the battery out like so and you put it to the side. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a label right by the battery, and the first line on the label says, if we can get a good focus, model X44L, and that's what you're looking for. Okay, now that the battery is removed, we could safely work on the laptop. And before I start working on the laptop, I'll show you which tools we're going to need. We need a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the screwdriver size. Just in case, we also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and that's mostly to pry things open. We have a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate cables. And we have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade and that's to remove screw covers and that's what we'll do next. So in order to get to the screen assembly, you have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind the screw covers. And that's where we're going to start at. We're going to use our X-Acto knife to remove the screw covers. And I will put the screw covers right next to the screw openings so I don't lose them. There's one. And almost there. And two. So this one we're going to put to the side because the adhesive is still on the screw. Okay, next we're going to use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. There's one and two. And we put them to the side and for each step I like to keep each set of screws in a separate pile and that helps me keep track of what screws go where when I put the laptop back together again. Once we remove the screws, we snap the screen frame open, this, the bezel open. So in order to do that, I put my fingertips on the screen side, or fingernails, and gently start lifting up and pulling outwards. And when I do that, the bezel gradually starts to come off. So work your way around the bezel. If you get stuck at a point, leave that place and come back to it later when it's a little bit easier. Same thing on the bottom. And we lift up the bezel and we put it to the side. Okay, for this particular type of screen, uh, it's mounted on the sides to some metal mounting brackets. And we need to get to the screws where it's mounted on the metal mounting brackets. And in order to do that, what we need to do is this one is actually particularly easy because it's only looks like it's only mounted on the top and not on the bottom. I'm double checking to make sure that is the case. And that is the case. There's no screw mounts on the bottom, just on the top. And we can't get to the side screws. So what we're gonna do is take the top brackets off and the screen will come off. So we need to remove these two screws at the top, one and two, and when you do that, have the screen tilted back a little bit so when you remove the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. So once again, we use our PH1 screwdriver 
to remove the two screws at the top, like so. And we keep moving. And we once we do that, we gently start tilting the screen forward and we can put it down. Okay, once we put the screen down, there's two steps we need to take. First, we need to remove these brackets. These brackets are not part of the screen. They go back on the laptop, so please do not throw these brackets away. Please keep them and put them in a safe place. So there's one screw holding each bracket, and I'll put them here for now so I can remember the orientation. and we remove the second screw, put it to the side in some pile, and put the bracket here so we can remember its orientation. Next, for this type of screw, I mean, for this type of screen, there's only one connection connector. It's at the bottom, and it's secured by some tape, and we have to remove it. So the first thing to do is to remove the tape, like so, and lift up the back of the video cable because there's some adhesive until you get right to the connection part and then you just gently slide the connector out like so and the screen is loose. Okay, before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because sometimes I see it as a source of trouble when people do it at home. When you slide the connector in you'll feel but not hear two clicks when it goes in properly. And let's take a look at the close-up of the connection. Okay, pause the video right there. The connection should look like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's remove the connection again. And when you do have your new screen in, Put it down like this, exactly as the the screen is now. And before you do anything, reattach these brackets so you don't forget them. And then reattach the connectors I showed you and go on. So let's take a look at this screen. It's a 14.0 LED screen, which is fairly commonly available. And the number that you're looking for is BT140. GW01. That's the part number you do the search on. And um, there are several vendors that make the exact same screen, so when you do get your screen in, the part number will not be the same, but the screen will look exactly the same. And now we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available from us. And what you get with us is a two year warranty on the screen. You get this exact same toolkit that I've been using in this video for free with the screen. We also provide uh, free email technical support, so if you get stuck at some point, we can help you out. And we ship from the East Coast and from the West Coast, so with ground shipping, you can have your screen in two to three days or less. And also, we ship to most countries around the world, so just go through the standard checkout procedure and pick your country, and we can ship it to you. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with your email and the laptop model number. Once you do that, we'll get back to you with the link to buy the right screen online, and then you can order from us online. Okay, once you do get the screen in, reconnect the brackets as I showed you on the bottom. Actually, it should be turned around so that there's no confusion. Reconnect the brackets, reconnect the connectors I showed you, put the screen back, put the two screws in for the brackets, then uh, snap the bezel on and put the two screws in at the bottom, and that's it, and you should be good to go. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.